Hey everybody, today we're going to make a quick video about the Toyota Celica um, GT. Um, I'm going to be telling you guys what's the best mods you can do on your car. Um, based on my experience, I've had two Celicas. I've had a 2002 Celica GT and I've had a 2003 Toyota Celica. Um, the, for my first one was actually black. It had a big spoiler on it. Riciest rice box you'll ever find around the block. Um, my second one is actually the one that I still own now and I've owned it for almost two years. It's a 2002. Three Celica. It had two hundred and twenty-five thousand miles on it, just about. And I've done basically everything on it except an upgraded pistons or any type of crazy stuff like that, engine-wise. Um, and with my first Celica, that one had about two hundred and twenty-five thousand miles, just about. Also, and I didn't really do much to that car. Um, I think I painted the interior and I painted the body parts, um, of the car, but that's really much it. Um, so I'm going to tell you guys about the mods list that I would go by if I were to own a Toyota Celica and were to do everything all over again without dropping so much money on stuff. Alright, so number one, what I'm going to say is, is going to be, um, the exhaust. The exhaust is going to help a lot because of the fact that our cars are generally slow. The GT is just generally a slow car and the exhaust no, sounds pretty good, especially when you get on the highway and you're... Going up through the RPMs, it's fantastic, and it sounds fantastic. Just as long as you don't get anything off eBay, or, um, that's really it. As long as you don't get anything off eBay, and you have a shop custom make one. Um, I'm going to give you guys how I made mine. I actually had mine, uh, it's a DC Sports exhaust tip. The exhaust muffler, it's small. It already has a tip on it. For like $60. And I had them custom ape the pipe off of a NVIDIA exhaust. And how they clamp that onto that, and then they made me an exhaust, and it sounds fantastic. Um, the eBay ones generally rattle when the can, when the muffler goes bad, and it's completely annoying, especially after like I've heard like six to seven months, um, the muffler will start rattling, and it'll sound really raspy. Um, that's it. So number two, what I'm gonna recommend you now is a lightweight flywheel and a stage one clutch. Make sure you do them both together because they'll work really well together. Which I think keep this video very small. Um, the reason why is because what I realized on my Celica, especially the GT, when you get on the highway, it's very, very, very laggy. And it's not responsive. Especially when you start revving it up. It just doesn't feel like it's going to move at all. But with the lightweight flywheel, I actually went with an XTD, um, XTD, XTD flywheel. Not an XZD, XTD flywheel. Um, it was a lightweight flywheel. It cost me around two hundred and fifty dollars or something like that, and it did wonders to my car. Now, when I get in my car and I'm on the highway and I'm in a little bit of a rush, I want to have fun. It's extremely responsive, especially with the stage one clutch. It's firm. Everything just feels fantastic, and it feels like a sports car once I put those in, and it feels amazing. Um, the only cons about it is that you hear the lightweight flywheel. You'll hear it go. Shush, shush, shush. You'll obviously hear it um, because of the lightweight and on the crank. Um, number three, what I would recommend is if you don't want to get into doing the dirty work of doing a flywheel and a clutch, the best thing I can recommend is doing a short shifter. I went with a Rev 9 short shifter. Let me see how much were those. Um, you can get those now for about... Da -da -da. No, that's extremely overpriced. It's saying seven hundred dollars. No, it's usually like around. I paid like seventy dollars for mine, but that was like two years ago. Why is it so pricey? Yeah, it's right here. Short shifter on eBay, sixty dollars. Um, but do not get a six-speed, um, which is the name of the brand, um, a six-speed short shifter. I went through the issues with this on um, eBay and told them that it wasn't working. I wanted to refund them my money. But never refund me on money. What's going to happen is if you get the short shifter from eBay without the bushings. Like if you slowly get the stick. I'm going to show you guys in a couple seconds of what it looks like. Um, it'll crack the the bushing because obviously it's worn and stuff like that. You want to get the Rev 9 one. Um, let me show you what, what it looks like. Six speed. I, it was six speed. That's what it was. I don't know what it was. So it looks exactly like that. Do not get this one at all. Do not. 
because you will wear out your bushing and it will not fit and you're gonna run through the inconvenience of it not working. Now I'm gonna show you the one that you should get if you're planning on getting a short shifter. And it does come with the bushings and it does come with, um, with everything. It comes with everything and it's fantastic. I don't know if it was this one. I think it was this one. No, here it is. And I'm making this easy for everybody so everybody knows what to put in the car and they know by me that this will work for your car for sure and you won't have problems. This is what I have exactly on my car and it's fantastic and it's $60. It might be a little bit pricey for the high school guys who don't really have a job or anything like that, but it's 100% worth it when you buy this. And I can completely guarantee that for you because I'm the one that has it on my car and I've had it for like at least a year now. Um, so what I'm going to recommend next, I recommended you the exhaust, the flywheel, the short shifter. Now I'm going to recommend you the bushings for the cables because this is what's actually been done doing the most for me and it's helped me the most, especially when shifting and you feel like you want to be a Honda Civic at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it's fantastic and it, and it, and it makes a big difference. Trust me. I'm going to show you right now. So you guys don't even have to go digging, digging for this stuff. <laughs> this is what the bushings look like. But that's for a 93. You can see them down here, though. These are fantastic. Big worlds of a difference when you're shifting the car. Because our cars, really, they aren't meant for being fast. Especially the GT models. They're not really for catching up with like Civic SIs and stuff like that. Um, I think our cars are very fantastic when it comes to being driven around corners and you're trying to get into curves and stuff like that. It's fantastic for those type of things, but racing, eh, not really. Um, personally, I've raced a Subaru Forester. Um, no, I think it was an Impreza hatchback. And I lost a Toyota Matrix, lost to that type of car, and even an automatic Celica, but... Do not judge me. I've already said that shifting either way. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Um, next thing I'm going to recommend is going to be lowering springs. Lowering springs are fantastic because it lowers the stability of the car. And when you're taking corners, it makes the whole car feel very sporty. And I really, what I realized about the OEM springs on the Celica, it almost feels like you're in a Corolla or like a very family-orientated car. And I'm going to show you which lowering springs I have in my car. Um, if they still make them, I got them for Christmas last year. I ended up buying them when I first got the car. So this is what they look like. There, it doesn't three. These are the loading springs you want. I've had them on my car. Past, um, I've had them in my car for the past two years and they've done really good for me. Um, the stability is fantastic. I thought they looked very um, cheap, bag and racing. Never heard of them ever before. But so far, I've been doing really well with them. I'm still on the OEM struts. I wish I would have upgraded my struts. Um, and I'm actually going to recommend that. Upgrade your struts while you're doing these to it. But if you can't, and you want to slap in the learning springs on your OEM struts, then feel free and go ahead. It'll work just fine. Um, and it'll feel, you'll feel absolutely different and fantastic. I promise you that. Um... So, for today's list, like I recommended you today, um, and I'm going to recommend this for everyone that wants to own a Celica. Um, a muffler, do not get no eBay muffler, have it custom made. Number two, you want to get a, um, well, that's my train of thought. Fantastic. A uh, clutch and a lightweight flywheel, XTD specifically. If you guys want to go with something else you, and your budget opens up to that, fine. That'll work just fine. Number three, a short shifter. Um... And number four, the short the bushings for the cables. And number five, lowering springs and struts. Struts, again, recommend you... Um, I forget the name of the brand, but I think they're Coney Struts. Let's look at it. KYB Struts. These are the ones I'm going to recommend. Because I've been able to do my next choice. Um, these, the reviews are fantastic. And KYB is actually a very reputable brand for like quite a while. 
Um, these are the AGXs. You can find them on eBay for a reasonable price. All right, uh, so this is my video today. If you guys like my video, subscribe to the channel. I'll be talking more Celica stuff um, as it seems like there's not much Celica content anymore. And um, yeah, follow, like, subscribe, leave a comment what you thought about the video. Um, be making videos quite often. I'm going to try to be talking more about Celicas on here. Um, you know, see more content. All right, this is Clapped Out Entertainment. Peace.